Okay, so in this video I just want to talk about kind of my preliminary plans for what's going to happen with this engine. Obviously this is meant for uh, the DeLorean, so um, DeLorean uses the, as a lot of people know, the PRV, um, I think it's, I can't remember what revision of it was, um, but uh, this is basically a, a PRV, equivalent PRV, which will bolt up basically right up to the, um, the DeLorean uh, transmission. Um, just has about 10 years of upgrades on it. Um, this is actually a 3.0, uh, so a little more displacement there, a little more or volume. Um, so anyways, um, and this is the newer version of the um, Eagle engine. You can tell uh, because it doesn't have the distributor, it uses the coil packs instead. Um, it's a little hard to see because everything's just gray, but um, you can also tell because the water pump here doesn't have little tube, uh, um, black tubes that go um, into the water pump, uh, kind of like that, and like that from each side. Uh, basically going into the heads here. Um, seems a little cleaner this way. Uh, I think there's a couple of little differences, but I don't really uh, remember what those are at the moment. But anyways, uh, newer revision of the uh, Eagle Premier slash Dodge Monaco 3.0 PRV engine. Um, there's a couple upgrades which uh, Mr. John Lane online has been so uh, kind to share. Um, basically a couple upgrades, a little, uh, couple swaps you can do to make this engine even better. Uh, kind of mixing this with a Volvo B280 uh, engine, which is a 2.8. Um, essentially the same, just... Uh, the uh, liners are um, 91 millimeters, this is 93. And uh, you mix the two together and you basically get um, the best PRV you can come by. Uh, so what I did is actually, I went to a couple salvage yards, well actually start lots of them, uh, over many weekends, and I found uh, one of the, the things that you would want to upgrade on the, the Eagle PRV is the uh, throttle body. Throttle body, uh, I've been told, on the B280, which is what this is from, is a lot more kinder to airflow. Um, also, I believe should be larger throttle body. So as you can see here, uh, basically it kind of, kind of uh, comes out of the, thr the throttle body or the uh, intake manifold right there. Um, rather, it goes this direction. So really, it's uh, you know intakes right there. Um, kind of has this little straight pipe right there. Then it does this sort of um, double uh, twist to go into the uh, intake manifold. And what I've been told, and I'll kind of have to clean everything up so I can see it, but it looks like um, you know, the, the B280 is going to be a lot more direct. Um, and I've, I've, again, I've been told a larger um, uh, uh, mouth on it. I just really haven't taken this part to see. Another thing, the other, one of the other upgrades, the B280 engine, which you can also pull off the B280 engine, is the uh, rockers. Um, these are mechanical, they're not hydraulic like the ones in the Eagle engine. So um, as, again, I'm kind of learning all this, but as I've been told, these are better for um, higher RPM. Um, they're not gonna, uh, I guess the right, right term is float, but they're, um, the hy hydraulic lifters basically in this are not gonna be as responsive to actually um, uh, move those valves uh, as these guys will be. These don't have rollers. Um, as you can see, they're just really um, smooth pads. So, um, so uh, you know, I, I think newer engines use rollers and stuff, but uh, apparently this just works uh, just fine for it. Now, another thing, too, that would be um, a, a good upgrade, which I have not gotten yet, is the cams um, for the B280 engine as well. The, uh, they're a little more aggressive than the ones in the um, Eagle Premier engine, and um, those come from the B280F, which is the version that's in the United States. Um, and a couple other countries, uh, the B280E is the Euro, Euro version of essentially the, the same um, B280 um, Volvo engine, um, but uh, its cams are even, even more aggressive. Uh, I've actually gotten a set of those to uh, be shipped to me. So I'll be putting the B280F cams in the, the uh, Eagle engine um, using the B280F um, lifters as well as the throttle body. Um, and what else? Uh, I'll be probably porting and pol uh, porting, maybe polishing the heads. Um, I've been told that the, uh, I can't remember if the ex exhaust or the intake were, was um, better or worse, but um, John Lane also mentioned that those should be done. Um, 
I'm probably gonna do forged internals and do a turbo setup. I really haven't decided about that yet. But, um, and I'm also considering using the V280 block if I can get a hold of one because apparently it has a, a balancer in it um, to kind of counteract the fact that this is uh, not a really naturally balanced engine, it's V6. So there's a little bit of vibrations uh, caused by the, um, uh, the extra mass that's not really balanced on uh, when the engine spins. Um, it also has cross uh, bolted uh, main bearings, which I'll have to research a little more under and to understand why that's a good thing. So um, that's all I can think of. I'm going to do mega squirt um, for the ECU and all that. Um, can't think of anything else at the moment, but that's basically the um, the plan for the build. Still kind of defining some um, some of the details of the build, but um, yeah, that's it, it as it stands. Um, Thanks for watching.